What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up under the video to ask you greetings. This is a free general collective reading for side of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, hit record your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't, I apologize. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. My kitties just knocked over a basket. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Um, this is a free general collective rating, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Please don't force anything that doesn't fit. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand, your charts for additional message or messages. Uh, if they apply, uh, this is free general rating, okay? Also, uh, personal readings are back open on Thursday. Just let everybody know, okay? Uh, I was say something. Oh, yeah. I got three channel messages, so um, I'm going to deliver them. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for all the new subscribers. That's what I was going to say. Thanks for all the new subscribers, too. I appreciate it so much. Okay. So the first channel message I received was the selling of a home. It was the first one. The selling of a home. Now, energy can be reversed, so it could be you selling a home or somebody you're connected to selling a home. Somebody selling a home. So you plug it in, how it resonates. The second one I heard, um, uh, a child is about to run away soon. That was the second one. A child is about to run away soon. Uh, so I'm assuming an Amber Alert will be issued for this child, or at least I hope so. Um, a child is about to run away. So hopefully an Amber Alert is issued. Hopefully the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children get involved, or the Amber Alerts are issued, or however... The area handles that. Um, whoever this child is that's about to run away. I'm a, I heard child, so I'm assuming minor energy. Uh, below 18 years old, so 17 or below, I'm presuming. That was the second one. Um, the third one, I heard an Aquarius is about to relocate soon. So you, uh, I heard far distances too, far distances. So you plug that in, how it resonates. One of you guys is about to relocate soon, far distances. So... Whoever you are and how that applies, um, one of you guys is about to relocate far distances. Hold on one second. I apologize. So you plug it in, how it resonates, okay? And an illegal government program that a family was in in the past is about to be very publicly, uh, very publicly announced and very publicly exposed. It's about to benefit this family in a huge way. For one, it's going to benefit you in a huge way. For one, you're going to hate this happen. Okay, and then we got number four. I just heard that one. Okay, and an illegal government program that a family was in, I heard. And it sounds like past energy. Hopefully, y'all can hear me okay. Make sure I got the volume up. Um, an illegal government program that a family was in in the, in the past. Sounds like past energy. There's two of you guys at least in here. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. I heard it's about to be announced very publicly, and it's about to go very, very, very public. Um, it sounds like uh, many people are going to know about this. Hopefully, the family is notified about this if they're not already notified. Heard for one, you're going. it's going to benefit you in a huge way. And for one, you're going to hate that it's being announced very publicly. So. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. For one, I feel that's going to be a wish is granted. Uh, somehow, I think it's going to help you out, uh, either personal or professional or what have you, what have you. Uh, the announcement of the family that was uh, illegally put in a government program. Uh, hopefully, the family is officially notified if they already don't know. Spirit messages you have for collective. And then the wish is granted also could be the selling of the home. If you are selling of the home, possibly, if you want to sell a home, if you're selling a home or want to sell your home or what have you, what have you. And then the relocation far distances. If you want to relocate far distances, uh, maybe that's a wish is granted too. Spirit messages you have. And then the child running away, that's not, hopefully that's not a wish is granted for anybody. I'm just saying. Fair woman, dealings in a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Spare messages here, just like this.
For Saturn, you could be dealing with fire sign or earth sign. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haver, Jupiter charts. If you are Aquarius, we have May as well. Your mini series of chain of events: A very unfit parent is about to lose rights to their parent uh, to their uh, one one child, one two plus two plus children. Oh my lord! You plug it in, how it resonates. Their mini series of chain of it sounds like several people. Their mini series of chain of events: um, Someone's about to lose her rights. So custodial parental rights, some to one child, some to two and two plus children. So uh, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, you could uh, possibly have a hand in helping somebody lose parental custodial rights. Um, or uh, you might know this person that's about to lose parental or custodial rights. Um, or however you're connected to the person um, or people that's about to lose parental or custodial rights. Some, they have parental and custodial rights of one child, some of two, some of two, uh, two plus children. You plug it in, how it resonates. Hopefully, they're losing custody for real reasons, for real substantial reasons. Reasons that you should lose custodial rights, like child abuse, exploitation, or um, drugs, or something like that. Number 16 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 16, it could be a possible age of you. Uh, I'm sorry, of a child of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 16, and we have refuge. B. Once this child runs away, it's about to really go fast. Really fast. Someone's going to try to suppress this information, but it will not be suppressed. Know this. Okay, I heard once this child runs away, it's about to go fast, really fast. Um, this child was lied to. They should not have been lied to. Okay, I heard this child was lied to. They should not have been lied to. So this child that's about to run away was lied to, or they shouldn't have been lied to, and I guess that's what is about to precipitate the fact that they're about to run away. I think they want refuge and peace in their life. I heard they were lied to and they shouldn't have been lied to. And nobody deserves to be lied to, whether it's a child or an adult, and that's just the truth. That's what causes uh, negative energy fields. That's what causes problems in the universe. You have to be honest. You have to be honest. And that's what the report, official reporting tools are for and the official not to abuse and manipulate the system, but to really help with situations. But it's when people abuse and manipulate the system and abuse and manipulate situations is like lying to children or lying to adults or lying about situations is when problems arise. If anybody needs to hear that. But I heard basically... Uh, the child was lied to. They're about to find out they're lied to, were lied to, or they're realizing they were lied to, or they're about to. That's what's about to precipitate them run, run, running away. Whoever they are, I'm presuming they are not uh, emancipated. I'm presuming they're not emancipated, um, whoever this is. It could be a fire sign child or earth sign child, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates because we have fire sign, earth sign energy, or not, any other sign. You plug it in how it resonates. But whoever this child is, I don't think they're dumb. I absolutely do not think they're dumb. And um, I don't think they appreciate being lied to. And nobody does. But I heard somebody's going to try to suppress the information, but it's not going to be suppressed. So bees in this aspect is basically the buzz, the gossip. I think it's information, hopefully information to the police or to feds or to National Center for Missing and Exploited Children about the child, how that resonates. I think the child just wants refuge and peace and to quit being lied to.
For some, you could help locate this child possibly. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But it's really sad. It's really freaking sad. I lose my kids over stupid ass reasons. And then we've got children out there running away because they're lied to. And whoever this is, I, I feel it was a huge lie. I don't think it was some little white lie. Lied to for many years. Huge lies. Okay, I heard lied to for many years. Huge lies. Yeah, that's confirmation. They were lied to for hu many, many years. Huge lies. Yeah. I don't, I mean, this is sad. And Aquarius is about to find out their sibling has impregnated somebody. <clears throat> okay, and I heard an Aquarius is about to find out their sibling has impregnated somebody. Um, not married. Not married. Not married. So, one of you guys, you're about to find out your sibling. So, your brother or your sister, either biological, foster, or somebody you call your brother or sister, um, has impregnated somebody. I heard they're not married, so they're not legally married. But you're about to find out, they. it sounds like they have already impregnated somebody in the universe. Or you're about to find out upcoming, they've already impregnated somebody. Gossip and buzz and the word on the street about the impregnation of um, your sibling that has impregnated somebody that is not legally married. Gazelle? And Aquarius is about to find out very important information soon. Very important information. They're about to take it and run with it. Run, 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 run. It's about to benefit them in a huge way. Okay. Uh, one of you guys is about to find out very important information. Now, whatever the important information is, I'm not sure, but it sounds like it's big. It's big, big, big. Gossip, be buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Once you find this out, you're about to take it and run. So, I mean, you're not going to hold this information. You're not going to suppress it. You're not holding it in. You are running with it. Heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. If that resonates for you, Aquarius. I think you're going to run fast like a gazelle. Um, it could be information regarding a fire sign or an earth sign or any other sign. But I think you're going to run fast like a gazelle. We have the gazelle animal spirit in here. You're going to run fast, baby. Um, you're going to take on the gazelle energy. And you're about to run fast with this information. Um, if that resonates and applies to you. A wish is granted. An Aquarius is about to contact a member of a corporate conglomerate soon and tell them the truth about a former employee that was abused and exploited through uh, their community in the past. It's about to help this former employee out in a huge way. They were wrongfully terminated. Well, that's beautiful, Aquarius, if this resonates for you. So if this resonates for you, I heard you're about to call a corporate conglomerate. It sounds like you work at this corporate conglomerate is what it sounds like. But you plug yourself in where it fits. It sounds like you work at it. it sounds like you work at this corporate conglomerate in a community. Uh, now, you know, corporate conglomerates, the head, like, headquarters and corporate is different than the facility sites, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, outside, like in different locations and locales. So I, you work at a site, facility, and locale, and you're about to call into the corporate entity, so the main headquarters. If this resonates and applies for you, Aquarius, it sounds like you're a current employee is what it sounds like, but I heard um, you live in this community, this fight site, you work at this site facility, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you live in this community. And there was somebody that used to work at the corporate conglomerate. It sounds like the same site, facility, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that you used to work at. I mean, I'm sorry that you work at now. It sounds like you work at now. But um, they were wrongfully terminated or they were abused and exploited. And um, they were wrongfully terminated. But you're about to call into the corporate conglomerate to the uh, main hotline. I'm thinking like a corporate compliance hotline or it could be just somebody you know in the corporate entity. How that resonates and applies. And I heard you're about to tell them about this story. The whole full real story. 
It's about to help them out in a huge way. Okay, I heard a whole the whole full real story, and it's about to help them out in a huge way. So you know, so you already know the whole full real story of them being abused and exploited, or you're about to learn it. And I, um, however that resonates, you're about to call in and tell them the whole full story and help them out in a huge way. I heard they were abused and exploited, so I think you're going to get a wishes granted here as far as helping them out. I think you like this person. Um, and obviously I heard it was wrongful termination, so you know it was, and, um, you're going to buzz, buzz, buzz about it. You're going to speak about it, buzz, buzz, buzz about it. Um, for some, it can be a fire sign or an earth sign that's happened to possibly, but you plug it in how it resonates Aquarius, okay? <clears throat> Good for you because that's the right thing to do, it sounds like. And I think in this aspect, you're about to be the fair woman. Um, or a fair masculine takes on femme energy as far as calling in and being fair and truthful and honest about this. I heard it's about to help this person out in a huge way. So I don't think corporate has a full story on what happened, uh, but you're about to make it clear. And you're doing this out of taking your own time, your own energy, and your own um, energy <clears throat> and taking it upon yourself to help this person out. You don't have to make this phone call, but you're about to do it. So that's beautiful. That's like paying it forward energy and um, uh, very positive, copacetic, um, um, beautiful energy in the universe, if that resonates. Fair woman, Dylan's a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. An Aquarius is about to deal with a very negative feminine Aquarius soon. You're going to sense very bad vibes from her. Very bad. She is a lawyer. And you're not going to like communicating with this person. You will be honest, but you're not going to, you're going to sense the bad vibes. You're not going to like communicating with her. After you communicate with her, you're going to communicate with others and tell your recollection of this conversation to others. Because you're going to know something's off and you're right, it is. She's trying to cover her ass. Oh my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oof. So, um, okay, so you're an Aquarius, masculine, femme Aquarius, okay? I feel you could be this person. Um, you could have blonde, gray, or white hair is what I'm feeling. And you could be a masculine or a femme that takes on heavy um, femme energy in your emotions and your feels and emotions after you speak to this uh Aquarius femme. I heard it's an Aquarius femme you're about to speak to, but she's in um I heard you're gonna get bad vibes from her. So um I think she's um uh, I don't think she's gonna come across negative, but you're going to sense something's off is what I'm trying to say. I don't think she's gonna come across negatively to you because most people don't want to come across negatively to people, even if they're lying to their face or or um or just straight ball face line to them. They, they don't want to come across like they're the bad guys. So I don't think they're going to come across negatively to you. But you're going to sense the negative vibes about her. I heard you're going to sense something negative is off about her. So, and I'm serious about that. So, um, you could be a feminine or you can be a masculine. Take some to be femme in your feels and emotions. But I feel you might have blonde, gray, or white hair. Or she might have blonde, gray, or white hair. But how that resonates, um, I heard what you're going to, it's upcoming. You haven't spoke to her yet. Somehow you're about to have a conversation with her. I don't know if she's going to seek you out or you're going to seek her out. But she is a femme Aquarius lawyer, whoever you are. But she is a femme Aquarius lawyer. And I heard you're going to get very bad juju vibes from her. The conversation is not going to hit you right. Um, you know, there's there was premeditated motives there and there absolutely was. Okay. I heard you're gonna uh, you're gonna know there were premeditated motives there, and there absolutely was. So she had some kind of premeditated motives for the conversation with you, or something in the past. How that resonates? Some kind of premeditated motives. The conversation you're gonna have with her, whatever this conversation is, you're gonna know there was some kind of premeditated motives. I heard you're right, there was. But you're gonna have such bad vibe space, bad boo boo, boo uh, not boo boo, ah, bad vibe space, bad. Uh, vibes from her 
I heard you're going to take the conversation and go speak with it about uh, about it to somebody else. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. She's a huge manipulator. <clears throat> okay, I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. She's a huge manipulator. So uh, I think you're going to feel the need to protect yourself from her is what I feel. Because I heard um, she uh, she is a huge manipulator. And uh, there was premeditated motives to something, whatever it was and how that resonates. Okay. Um, whoever this, I heard she's a lawyer. She's a lawyer. She's an Aquarius fan lawyer. I feel she could have blonde, gray, or white hair, or you could. Uh, but you could be a femme energy or masculine takes on heavy femme. How that resonates, I think this is going to be a wishes granted. You taking it and speaking on it to somebody else, basically. Um, to protect yourself and protect the situation, um, she obviously doesn't have, she's not going to come across negative to you, I don't feel, but she um, doesn't have, either doesn't have good motives now and intentions or didn't in the past. How that resonates, okay? She's about to be in some serious trouble. Serious trouble. It is best to protect yourself from this person. Okay, I heard she's about to be in some serious trouble. Serious trouble. It's about to be best to protect yourself from this person. So this Aquarius fam negative energy lawyer, um, I heard she's about to be in some serious trouble. It's best to protect yourself from her. So Protecting the, yourself, your conversation, what you say, watch what you say, how you respond, that kind of thing. Like, don't be buddy-buddy friends with her is what I'm presuming here. Because is, she sounds like the kind of person that would put 50 swords in your back in a New York minute. Um, I know she probably doesn't want to come across that way. But um, one of you guys is going to pick up that she's kind of like that um, when you have this conversation with her. And it's always good to protect yourself. Always good, especially from um, people that you don't feel have your best interest at heart or other people's interest at heart. Best interest at heart. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that, okay? May? A huge injustice was done in May of 2022. Some to you, some to another individual. Through many series of chain of events, you're about to help right this injustice. Some to you, some to another individual. You're going to speak out on the injustice done to you and the other individual. Okay, uh, so kind of a huge injustice was done. Some to you, some to another individual. In May of 2022, some kind of injustice. So something that wasn't right in the universe. Um, it, it wasn't fair. It wasn't just. It was not correct. Some to you, some to another individual. In May of 2022, I feel it could be masculine or femme, other individual or a child. In May of 2022. But how that resonates, uh, I heard you're about to speak out on it. Uh, whatever this huge injustice that was done to either you, another individual or a child in May of 2022. You're about to speak out on it. Um, I heard it's going to benefit you and this other individual, whether it's a child, adult, or what have you, what have you, okay? But it was done in May of 2022. Like, I know for me, my huge injustice in May of 2022 was when I was wrongfully terminated. But um, that sticks out to me. But for me, but I can only speak for myself, not anybody else. Whatever the huge injustice was done to you in May of 2022, okay? Um, I think you might have, gone within, self-reflected, uh, hopefully self-cared yourself after this huge injustice, whatever was done to you or another individual or a child or what have you, what have you. We've been picking up a lot of pedo energy in here, so hopefully nobody is abusing and exploiting a child or children. I'm just making that clear, okay? But um, whatever it is, you're about to speak out very publicly on it. So it could be in your world, your 3D world, or it could be on social media, or it could be news or what, whatever it is. You're about to speak out very publicly on it. For some, you could be a news reporter, possibly. I kind of feel news reporter energy. I didn't hear that. I just kind of intuitively feel maybe one you might be a news reporter. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Through many series of chain of events, someone's sister is about to go to jail soon. And a group. 
through many series of chain events, someone's sister and a group is about to go to jail soon. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Um, I feel for some you could help this sister, a uh, low vibrational, uh, like evil S type sister is what I'm presuming. Um, and the low vibrational group go to jail. Maybe you create a series of chain of events to help them go to jail. Um, for some, maybe not. But you have to place yourself on what side of the karmic wheel you're on here. Um, but there's some kind of low vibrational sister and a low vibrational group out in the universe that has done something very terrible. It sounds like they actually deserve to go to jail, not that they were set up to go to jail. Um, and through many series of chain of events, they're about to go to jail. So um, I think they might have done something in May of 2022 to you or somebody else in a negative aspect. And now their karma is about to come around in September of 2022 or October of 2022. How that resonates in the class. I think they might be scared, running, and um, scared that they're going to get caught with the refuge energy. But you plug it in how it resonates. But the thing is, is you shouldn't be going out causing harm and lying to children and doing negative things in the universe to make you, cause you to have a bad reputation and to cause you to have to go to jail and to cause you to, um, to have to pay the repercussions in a negative way. And that's just the truth. If you don't hurt, curse, and people place a situation, you wouldn't be in this kind of situation. If anybody needs to hear that. An investigator is about to be a very significant part of an Aquarius's life. Seven in a positive way, seven in a negative way. Okay, I heard an investigator is about to be a very significant part of an Aquarius's life. Seven in a positive way, seven in a negative way. So I feel this could be your investigator energy, possibly. She could be a feminine or masculine takes on heavy femme. And I feel he or she could have blonde, gray, or white hair, possibly. Um, and there's many types of investigators in the universe. Um, and that's just the truth. There's people in workplaces that are investigators. Uh, there's corporate conglomerate investigators. There's um, state governing agency investigators. There's uh, feds. There's uh, police. Uh, there's private eyes. There's many types of investigators. But for one of you guys, an investigator is about to become a significant part of your life, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. I feel they could have blonde, gray, or white hair, or you could. And I feel they could be a masculine, I'm sorry, a femme, or a uh, masculine takes on heavy femme and their emotions and feels. You plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. For some, it could be regarding this kidnapped child. I'm not kidnapped child. I'm sorry. This runaway child. This runaway child, possibly. Nobody should be lying to children. That's how it screws up people's psyches if anybody needs to hear that. Someone lied to you in the past and said if feminine energy was broke. But she never has been. She's worked hard for everything she's ever had. One, you're realizing this now. One, you're about to realize it. You're about to help her out in a huge way. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, okay? So, um, Okay, so there's two of you. One, uh, you, both of you guys were lied to and said a fem, uh, somebody told you a fem energy was broke. Uh, so she didn't have no money. She was, maybe she, they told you she was homeless out on the street or she was a person of the street. She didn't take care of herself. She was broke and homeless or what have you, what have you. Uh, but one, you've already realized that's not the case. One, you've already realized that's not the case. And one, you're about to realize it. And I heard you're about to help this person out in a huge way, whoever, whichever spectrum you fall in here, whether you already know she's not broke and that she take care, she takes care of herself and she's stable, dependable, reliable, like pinnacles energy. Um, or you're about to realize she is. Now, you know, people go through hard times all the time. I'm not saying this person is has $5 billion in their bank account, but I think they know how to manage their money is what I'm trying to say. I don't think they make bad financial decisions whoever this person is, uh, with whatever money they have, you know, I mean, they could have $5 in their bank account or $5 billion, but I don't think they just go out and just spend money like water, is what I'm trying to say. They definitely do not 
getting huge wake up call. Okay, I heard they definitely do not getting a huge wake up call. So th that's confirmation. So this fem energy does definitely does not. They hold on to what money they have. They are very smart financially. So they could have five dollars in the bank account or five billion, but they invest their money properly. They hold on to what money they have, and they they uh, make smart investments with the money they have. They don't spend. Um, they don't um, spend. They have five. Let's say they have five hundred dollars, and they spend five hundred and fifty dollars on Amazon. So now they're fifty dollars in debt. No, I don't feel it's this kind of person. I feel if they have five hundred dollars. They pay the bills they need to pay, and then they hold on to the rest of it for the savings kind of thing. Uh, but I heard one, you're getting a huge wake-up call. You've already realized this is the case. The one, you're about to. And how this resonates for whichever category you fit, fit into over here, you're about to help this person out. Now, however you help them out, I'm not sure. That could be gift of information, gift of um, gift of information, or gift of uh, physical assistance, or gift of monetary, or um, or information. Oh, I heard I already said information. Or however you're going to help them out. However you're going to help them out. Somebody lied to you and said they were just broke and I think that they mismanaged their money and they didn't know how to spend their money and somebody told you they needed a handler with money and you are realizing now that's a huge scam and it was. Oh my God, this is terrible. Okay, so somebody told you they needed a handler with money, but I heard they didn't. They never did need a handler with money um, and you're realizing now it's a huge scam. So damn that that's terrible so you plug it in how it runs. nobody should be anybody's handler with money unless they're mentally incompetent and they can't you know do for themselves like iadls like independent activities of daily, daily living daily living if you cannot do those kind of things and pay your bills and pay your mortgage and uh keep up, up pay for your home with the money you have then yeah and if you're mentally incompetent then yeah but whoever this person is i don't feel they are they most certainly are not it's about to backfire on these people in a huge way. Okay, I heard they most certainly are not. So they're not. Um, they're not mentally incompetent. They can pay their bills. They manage the money they have now just fine. But somebody told you in the past, Aquarius, that they needed a financial handler. Um, and whoever this person's financial handler was, they're about to be exposed. I think you're about to expose them. But it, but they somebody told you they needed a financial handler so they could scam somebody out of some money, basically. They scammed out of a lot of money. A lot, lot, lot of money. They're about to be exposed. Okay, I heard they scammed out of a lot, a lot, a lot of money, and they're about to be exposed. So whoever this person is that basically was illegally somebody's financial handler and planner, uh, it doesn't even sound like a financial planner. It sounds like a financial swindler. Um, you're about to help expose them. Which, good for you, because uh, this is terrible. Nobody should have control of anybody's money, period, point blank. And that's just the truth. Um, unless they need somebody to be that way, but they should have the power and control to authorize who they want to be their financial handler. And whoever this is, they didn't even have the choice. It was somebody else that um, did that which is not appropriate. That's not the world we live in in 2022. If anybody needs to hear that, it's just not. And it shouldn't be. Because nobody would appreciate that if it was done to them, you know. All right, well, I love you guys. I hope this helped, and namaste.